But uh, I got a couple things on the radar today. A couple things that I want to do. The first one is bring this junk back to AutoZone. This is a couple of sets of torque converter bolts. Uh, torque converter bolt sets that I bought a while back and then forgot that I bought and then I ended up buying different bolts and I found these now so I'm going to return them. Get my 10 bucks back. So on the radar is going to be to lower this thing. So the height difference in the two different trucks. So I was like thinking about that. This is a two-wheel drive. It was a four-wheel drive. So now I'm just going to basically take the suspension parts off of this that I need. So you can see under here, I'll take those U-bolts, pull them out, and then, then I'll move them over here on this side. This side has this big block in there. So I'll pull that block out, put the different U-bolts on there, and that should be good for the back end. So that block in the back is like two and three quarters inches, so that'll bring the back down two and three quarters. And then I'll bring the front down like another inch just to get it level with the back end. But that should be completely free, and it shouldn't take that long. So as long as I still have this truck here, I'm just going to swap the parts. I'll pull the stuff off the white truck, put it on the red truck. So getting some work done on this. Got both of you bolts out on the white truck. I'm going to start working on the red truck. Still got to get this side off. So it's got that big spacer in there, so basically that's what I'm taking out of there. Um, also, while I'm while I'm here, I'm going to be taking the stud, one of the studs off the other truck too. This stud was broken, so I only had four on this side. So I'm going to swap one over onto this truck too. And the front end here has just a torsion bar. I'll just take this, adjust that torsion bar key down, and I should be able to get the front down about another inch. So I got this thing lowered. <clears throat> I'm using this back here. Just going to lift up on the trailer hitch. Pop this baby loose, pass that off to the side, and then now, because this leaf actually came down quite a bit, I think what I'm just going to start to do is leave it on the, on the jack stand, and then lower it down. There's a little nubby under here that's going to go inside this hole, and then I'll be able to lower that down once that's in there, then I'll throw the U-joints on it. I got the new U-bolts on there, block removed. I'm going to tighten this thing down, put the wheel back on, throw that stud in first. Then I'll throw the wheel back on and drop it on the wheel and we'll see what it looks like. Here's the back end on the side I didn't lower compared to this side. You can see that the gap is closed up quite a bit. It's about two and three quarters inches lower. It doesn't even look like it's not that much lower than the front, to be honest. So I might only have to go down a little bit in the front to level it out. So, shouldn't take much for the front. I might not even have to do it at all. But, this looks, I think, much better. Alright, so I just measured it on the, the rear to the front on the driver's side. And it's only about a half an inch lower in the back right now than it is in the front. And I do have some stuff in the back, not a whole lot. It's probably about 100 pounds worth of stuff. Uh, so basically, I don't think I'm going to lower the front at all. I think it's right now, as it sits, it's only about a half an inch lower with a little bit of an angle. So when I do the other side, it'll raise that up slightly. So a half an inch within a half inch, you're not going to be able to tell the difference from front to back. So I'm not going to touch the front. Put this side down on the white truck. Got that block in underneath also decided I'm going to steal the wheels off this white truck because this tire I already switched. This was, this was off the red truck. They're all cracked. And this is, this is pretty wore down. Rims really look like crap. Here's the wheels that were on the white truck. Rims could be cleaned up really easy. They're just a little dirty. Look at the tread on there. Tread is really nice, there's no cracks. Uh, maybe not really nice, but they're better, so I'm just gonna steal these two. So I just used the uh, wheel dollies there. Slid that thing over a little bit so I got a little bit more room. Now I'm gonna just whip through this thing quick, get the other side done, and it'll be good. All right, this side's all done. You can definitely see when you look at it from this angle how big uh, the gap is between the tire and the front fender compared to the back. So maybe I maybe I will lower it. It's about a half inch 
I'll have to get it out of the garage and see what it looks like. Then make a decision on it when the bed's empty, but it's pretty close. Alright, so I just measured it back to the front, and it's only a half an inch lower in the back. So I'm probably not even going to touch the front, to be honest with you. Half inch, you're not going to be able to see it. It'll look pretty level. And, yeah. I'm going to bed. I'm beat. That took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Um, I almost set up a time lapse because I thought it was like going to take an hour, but I've been working on it almost all day. Um, so yeah, that's fun. Anyways, it's done. I'm happier with it. It did push the drive shaft in a little bit farther because the rear end is lower now. So that's good. Not a whole lot, but it's a little bit better. Uh, other than that, still got to throw the other side back together on the white truck. And then that's completely done. I'm still working on trying to sell that thing. So it'll be gone soon. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And... Have a good one.